Independent production companies are able to do more now for far less money than ever before. And Softron is very happy to be part of that process. In fact, with our bundled support, we've been able to hear directly from you. And one of those things you wanted was REST API and HTTP integrations into On The Air Video 4. So we are so excited to go over this. So thank you for joining us for the Softron Virtual Exhibition. I'm David, and I'm going to take you through what's new with On The Air Video 4. Our REST API features include integrations into our schedule, our playlist, clips, and clip info and actions. This will really help if you want to access the server without having a user directly on it. So that will allow you to make so many changes to your on-the-air video instance without even touching your computer. So let's see how you can access that. Okay, with on-the-air video running, let's launch Safari. We're going to go to your local host, 8081, which is your on-the-air video instance. So let me zoom in on that. On-the-air video. Now, on this page, you're able to see the REST API documentation and the Actions Editor page. So let's look at the REST API documentation real quick. Here, you could see all the different things that's possible with the API. So if we look at it, we're able to see how you could make a, ma a command, how you can talk to playlists, if it's unique ID or the, the index. So there's a lot of information here. Uh, we could really spend some time on this, but I just want to kind of quickly show you what you can do. For instance, saying to a specific playlist, skip to next. But let's look at the other option there. We have the Actions Editor sample page, and that has some really cool features built in so you can learn what's possible. So on the Actions Editor sample page, we're going to go here, and immediately it says, let's open a playlist. So let's go here and say Softron Videos. So that's the playlist I have right here. Now we're able to access this, and let's add things like a transition. Now you can see I just got an access restricted because it needs me to log in. So let's go into On The Air Video, Preferences, and we're going to go to HTTP Server. Let me zoom in for you. Again, that's General, HTTP Server, Authorized Users. Now, I made one for myself already. David B, admin, I'm going to set a password, and full access. Close that. Let's log in. OK, now let's change our playlist. I'm going to click here. No problem. Let's add another one. Maybe here at the top of the show, we'll do a cross dissolve. And it's immediately added. So you see, when we make changes to the Actions Editor page, we're able to see it quickly change on on-the-air video. That's an immediate change to show, to show things like transitions. But let's see what else is possible. Now you can see information like kind, location, format, and frame rate, and video and audio codec. So I'm going to click this plus icon. And now you see there's an action here called lower third. So actions can do a lot of different things in on-the-air video. We can trigger another application like Movie Recorder, or we can tell On The Air Video to bring up a graphic, a still, a bug. There's a lot of different things. But in this case, we're going to tell CG Server to run a graphic. And so let's look how that's done. So I'm going to set a time, let's say 10 seconds into this clip. At the start of the clip, lower third, and I'm going to put name and title. I'm going to click Save, and it's immediately added. Now, a few things happen. One, we got an indicator letting us know that there is an action. You can see that here. And we also got it over here in our playlist, letting us know that there is an action. And if you need to, you can use the Actions filter to show you all the actions or just specific actions inside of your playlist. Now, we can unfold all the items and, of course, collapse all the items. So you saw on the Actions Editor page, we had the duration and how you can edit it. And what does that do? Well, what we're using that for is to take a live element at the end of your playlist and stretch or collapse it to fit into a certain duration. So if you have a show that needs to be exactly half an hour or exactly an hour, it's very hard to hit that exact mark. So we are adding that element so you can expand or contract it to actually hit that. So let me show you what that can do. So I'm going to add a live element into my playlist. 
live clip. And let's call this duration. And it's going to be one hour for now, and that's okay. I'm going to bring it down to the bottom of my playlist. Let's go to the page and refresh. We have a different indicator for the live event. And if I click here, we're going to see whether I want to transition. Let's add one. And we can see other things about the format, frame rate again. So let's change this. Say 30 minutes. Trim. Now just, that just changed our duration to 18 minutes and 33 seconds. I'm going to show you again. Let's go back to, let's say, 15 minutes. Trim. And now let's change it to 3 minutes and 33 seconds. So that's a really great way to make sure your show is going to be the right duration. You can use that in a lot of different ways. Here I have an on-the-air video instance feeding my on-the-air video. Or you can have it as a live input. So you can have billboards or images feeding from on-the-air video, or you can have a live input. So there's a lot of different ways you can use that. And you can also go here when you select a playlist and see all the scheduled playlists that will automatically open up the playlist on the server. So now someone can make changes as they need. So there are a lot of great new features available in the API. And like I said, even though the Actions Editor sample page is a great tool, there is so much more you can do with it, and it's a great example of what you can do. So you can build it for your own production. So thank you for joining us for the Softron Virtual Exhibition. There's so much more to go over. If you have more questions about the REST API, so thank you for joining us. <laughs>